the focus of today is to conduct basic airborne operations, right, to develop uh, currency and proficiency amongst all the qualified Marines. Um, number one. Number two is to uh, is to build a relationship with our active duty component. So we have some elements here of First Anco. That's a relationship that we want to foster. And then ultimately, we have Fourth Mall who's doing the, the flying for us for both aircraft, both types of model series. And so it gives us a chance to integrate and coordinate with them and work with them. The reserve Anco's, the three reserve Anco's being third, fourth, and sixth, are the only Anco's in the Marine Corps that actually have a assigned mission of, of maintaining airborne capabilities. But what that enables us to do is that allows us to work with our partner nations other services, um, allies, and provide our fires expertise support to those units within those countries or other services that have an airborne mission, right? So if the Marine Corps wants Anglico to operate with the 82nd Airborne, for example, we would be a great candidates for that because we actually have the jump mission. So we would be capable of jumping with them. And that's a unique mission set, and then that doesn't exist uh, anywhere else in the in the Marine Corps, and it's very uncommon, I would say, across the DoD um, as a whole. Variety of training is is key to everything. Um, if you know how it's done during the day, close your eyes and try to do it. It, it becomes inherently a much harder to do. And the only way we can overcome that difficulty is by continuing to train. We must be aggressive, we must be consistent, and we must be more than proficient. We must be masters at what we do. And the only way we're gonna do it is by creating harder training. I think honestly what attracted me the most about being Anglico is the diversity. I had never been to a unit where so many different capabilities were still trying to do the exact same thing. Well, airborne capabilities have been a huge important task since I've been here. Making sure that we had a good parachuting program, making sure that we had a good HERS program, and making sure that the JFOs and the JTACs were getting the appropriate training, but it all boiled down to the same thing. Being able to seamlessly insert with other units and support them appropriately. Mm -hmm.